I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to zoom in on it. There's the number two. And I'm going to just move this jug a second. And right... Boy, you can't even see it. But it's there. Right there. There it is. A number one. A number two. There's number two. Good camera work, Dave. So, I went and pre-cut them and fitted them all in just to make sure they would fit. And then before taking them out, I just took a pencil out and numbered them. That way I know that when I put them back in in the right order, they're going to fit. You may be wondering what that pink jug is, jug of pink fluid, yeah, right over there, and why this board is all wet. Well, I figured, well, I'm doing something to help preserve the metal by spraying undercoating on this. Well, what about the wood? And I know it's pressure treated, which is better than the old stuff that I took off, which wasn't pressure treated. I think that's part of the problem. But uh, I did some looking on YouTube and looking for home remedies for wood preservers and saw a number of hits that suggested getting this stuff. And they had also had some uh, borax kind of powder compound that they added to it. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to have animals on this. But this is an RV and uh, uh, marine uh, antifreeze and it's it's not for not for putting in your car radiator it's actually for putting in uh, like your water pipes and drain pipes in your RV so that they don't freeze in the winter so uh, it's environmentally friendly the stuff that goes in your car radiator is deadly to animals and humans not good but uh, this stuff, obviously, if they can use it in in water pipes in your in your RV, then uh, it's it's got to be okay. What you really want to check for is it's not the ethylene glycol, the the green or, or uh, red stuff that they would put in a radiator, but it's the propylene glycol. If you look on the on the bottle, it'll say environmentally safe because the uh, other stuff. You, uh, you have to uh, dispose of it properly. There's uh, companies like Safety Clean that will come and take your used antifreeze and dispose of it properly. But this stuff is environmentally friendly and it is a water inhibitor, which is, of course, what causes rotten wood. So I'm soaking these down on the bottom before I put the boards in. And then once I get all the boards in, I'll just take my handy dandy broom, pour a bunch on, and I'll just sop all the edges and corners and the top and let it all just soak in because that is a moisture, a water inhibitor. That's what keys, keeps water away. And if water does happen to come in, it'll suck the water in, it'll absorb the water, just like it would do in your pipes, in your RV, and it changes the, the uh, makeup of water so it d dilutes it so that it won't freeze well it does the same thing here it'll suck up water so I'm hoping maybe this will give me an extra year or two you know for five bucks for the jug an extra year or two out of the wood would be nice and it might be something that later on I could pull the mats and do again later and and uh, it'll be good okay more work